Welcome back, Love Stylers. I'm Misty. Today we're gonna be talking about the carnivore diet. Thank you for subscribing. I wanna start out by saying, what would you rather have in your life? Meat or meds? Seems pretty easy to answer that. I don't know anybody who wants to be on medication. A lot of people are on medication. And I was on medication. And part of my medication was alcohol. And I'll get into that in a minute. But the smartest people on the planet are eating more meat in their life, eating more nutrient dense in their life and leaving out the junk, staying away from carbs mostly. I do a 90% carnivore diet. Some people call it the zero carb diet. I like to call it the anti-aging diet, the intelligent diet, the cellulite reducing diet, the not hungry diet, the most nutrient dense diet, or the meat, eggs, and possibly cheese diet. There are a few people in the carnivore community that do 100%. One is Sean Baker. Check out Sean Baker, Meat RX, or Revero is another word he goes by. Michaela Peterson, who is Jordan Peterson's daughter, very intelligent people here, guys, are doing 100% carnivore. Now, the rest of us might actually have more of a balanced diet including like vegetables, a little bit of honey here and there, some dark chocolate, and occasionally a real ice cream or real pizza. I think a successful diet is one that you'll actually do. Like not just do for a couple of days, but keep doing it because you love the results. I got off my meds, guys, and that's what I wanted to talk about today. I'm not gonna get into all the medication names. But if you have ever thought that you hate taking medication and you hate having to go to the doctor to get them refilled and you hate having to be on meds like for your whole life, then keep listening. So I'm gonna look to the left here guys at my notes to talk about the main problems people have with their health these days. Diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure or hypertension, which is what I had, and I was on meds for a long time. I'll get to that in a minute. Obesity, alcoholism, another problem that I kicked using low carb pain from an old injury or scar tissue, arthritis, chronic inflammation in many different ways in your body can affect so many things. Allergies, diverticulitis, leaky gut, cancer autoimmune disease or eczema, which I had eczema, guys. It's getting a lot better. It's not completely gone because I may need to have to go even cleaner. Hashimoto's disease. You may have poor liver function, rashes, kidney disease, and problems with digestion. Your hair could be falling out. You may not be able to absorb the nutrients in certain foods from eating crappy all these years. And because we have these problems, we have to go see a doctor more often than we would like. I don't know that many people who go to the doctor and actually start to get better by taking more meds, especially pharmaceutical drugs. We don't really know what's in them. And even if they told us what was in them and we read the package, do we really know what it does to our body? Now, in all these years, guys, I'm 50 years old, and I don't remember a doctor ever saying to me, Misty, what do you eat in a day? Or even concerned about my nutritional health. And this is why I wanted to do this video today is because we can actually start to get off of our meds and improve our health from the inside out. Now, I am not a doctor and I am not a nutritionist, but I did get off of high blood pressure medicine. I thought I was gonna be on it my entire life. I did improve my eczema by at least 80% by eating on a carnivore diet and keto. And I also kicked alcoholism and lost 55 pounds. So I'm proud of these few things. Well, Misty, maybe your problem is not as bad as mine. 
Yeah, because like my doctor says I have to be on ADHD medication like for my whole life. And I've been on it since I was like 10 years old. Even mood disorders and anxiety, depression, these kind of things can be improved by changing what you eat. Just changing what you put on your plate. Over-the-counter medicines could be just as damaging to our bodies as pharmaceutical meds. Advil, I've taken Advil for years. I've taken Advil PM to go to sleep. There's some other sleep medications that I'm sure some of you listening take to go to sleep because sleep is so important, right? But when you start to balance what you put on your plate and what you consume for food, you start to realize you don't need so many medications or any at all. Tums, even vitamins have harmful ingredients in them. If you have to be on a medication for a, a short period of time, that is very understandable until you get your diet straightened out. Somebody in the medical industry is making a lot of money when you return and have to get those meds refilled and you keep having to see your doctor and you don't really see things improving all that much. When you're on a medication, for your entire life, or decades, or even a few years. This can affect so many things going on in your body. This can affect your liver function. This can affect so many things we don't quite understand in the human body. And I don't see a lot of people getting off of medication. Even diabetics are finding success. They are healing from the inside out. And I want you to realize that if you've never looked into a carnivore diet or even a keto diet, now in 2023, coming up in a couple weeks, might be the best time to look into it, do a little research, and you will find so many benefits. As a matter of fact, um, if you check out Carnivore Stories podcast, What's up, Alyssa Grubner? She had me on her show and it just posted two weeks ago. I'm gonna try to link it in the show notes. Check out Carnivore Stories podcast. It is mind blowing how many people are healing themselves through a carnivore or meat-based lifestyle. When I decided I didn't wanna be on high blood pressure medication anymore, that's when I started looking to other alternatives natural healing methods. I was on the keto diet for a couple years and then I moved over to an even more lower carb diet. Jordan Peterson, one of the smartest men of our time or generation, and his daughter Michaela Peterson healed so many things and are able to do the work that they do for the world, for us. So it, the word is out there now, and Joe Rogan loves the carnivore diet, and he's amazing also. These are smart, intelligent people, much more intelligent than myself, and they are talking about the carnivore diet because they've experienced so much healing. People would rather have organs removed than to consider going lower carb or going on a keto diet or going on a carnivore diet because I think they think that it's not going to work or that they won't be able to sustain it. I love meat first. I love eggs and dairy second. I was never that crazy about vegetables. I think eating vegetables is smart if you're trying to clean up your diet. But if you don't love vegetables, you might wanna look into this way of eating. We know that carbs are not great for us, not vegetable carbs per se, but bread, cereal, crackers, chips, muffins, cakes, cookies. The most common foods you see in everyone's pantry. We know about this now. It's out in the open now, so this is great. Now, in the 80s, they used to tell us it was the fat that was the problem. This was part of the industry. This was part of the business side for the food people who were trying to sell you something that stays on the shelf for years before it goes bad. These emulsifiers, there's gluten, which a lot of people have a problem with gluten, and things to keep foods together. They give us leaky gut 
and that permeates through the walls of our stomach into our organs, into our tissue. And this is very, very damaging. These processed ingredients were not made for the human body. They are Franken foods. They are toxic. The fat and the collagen in meat is where our best nutrients come from. So whether it's beef, pork ribs, chicken wings, fish, of course, bacon is our favorite, eggs, and some dairy. An egg yolk is a multivitamin in itself. And of course, remember bone broth. It's winter time now, and I'm really upping my bone broth game. And you can just take a bunch of chicken wing bones and cook them for a while, and you get that nice gelatin. That nice collagen is so damn good for your body. And ladies, if you're anything like me, I'm 50 now. A little bit more collagen in my life just makes my skin look a little more taut, a little less lines on my face. So consuming collagen from the inside out just by drinking bone broth is very exciting and very doable. Also, I want to add unflavored gelatin is pure collagen. It's wonderful for you. And you can make a lot of keto desserts, even some carnivore desserts with that gelatin and add a little stevia if you want to make a um, low carb, but sweet dessert occasionally. We would never deny our animals or our children of the essential nutrients that they need to grow and to function at their best. I want you to consider yourself as important as the people that you take care of or the pets that you take care of. We know that protein is important for the building blocks of life. We are made of mostly protein in our bodies. Protein from the source, from meat, is what our body requires. Eliminating all of the junk food from your life is smart, even if you're a vegan, even if you're a vegetarian. But today, I'm talking about meat and giving your body what it actually needs to function properly. A lot of people will just do low carb first. A lot of people will do paleo or Atkins. And these are all elimination diets. Even veganism or being a vegetarian is eliminating a lot of the crap. So any step in the right direction is going to help you. Eliminating the worst things first. Whether it's soda, whether it's you gotta have that ice cream, whether it's you have to have that beer or wine. Now, remember, I was drinking. I was drinking soda. I was also eating Doritos, Sour Patch Kids, and whatever I wanted at times. And losing 55 pounds for myself was a great big win. But coming off of the medications was huge for me and keeping the alcohol out of my life for good. Stick around in 30 seconds for my truth bomb. We want to thank you for tuning into Love Style today and listening to Black Eyed Soul. That's our band. Andrew and I record right here in this room. Check out blackeyedsoul.com or anywhere you find streaming music. We are there. Tell us if you like us. Please subscribe and send this to a friend who may benefit from it. Comment if you want to let the rest of us know what have you found from going lower carb in your life, some improvements to inspire the rest of us. And my truth bomb is, if you have not considered a low carb diet yet at this point in your life, I wanna tell you that they are very, very useful and can help you decrease and even come off of the medication that you are relying on to help you feel better. By implementing a more nutrient-dense diet, like the carnivore diet, like the keto diet, or just eliminating the bad foods to begin your low-carb journey is just intelligence. Of course, implementing more water will help you a great deal. Getting rid of the soda or diet soda in your life, if you still have it, is very intelligent making sure you get your pink salt 
in your diet and getting six to eight hours of sleep and a moderate amount of exercise will help you in so many ways I can't even begin to explain. The carnivore diet is a shortcut to health. For myself, eating on a 90% carnivore diet, 10% keto and other foods gives me a great diet life balance. So stick with me this year, guys. In 2023, if you want to stay on track, we can do it together. Thank you. We'll see you next time on Love Style. Peace.